Energy is the lifeblood of our society. In the last century, the United States has prospered because it utilized its own energy resources, mainly coal and petroleum. But America has not been self-sufficient in petroleum since the 1970s. In 2007, gas prices soared over $4 per gallon when oil was over $140 per barrel. Prices are lower now, but increases seem inevitable as developing countries like India and China become more industrialized. As worldwide demand continues to grow, America remains one of the largest consumers of energy. We are only about 3% of the world's population, but we use about 25% of, uh, of the energy in the world, and it's escalating. We don't have a better alternative to power our military. We don't have a better alternative to uh, uh, fuel our automobiles at this point. Then the price of energy isn't just at the pump. The price of energy also affects your electricity bills, your, um, your food costs. As prices go up, commodity prices go up along the line. Poor consumers uh, bear a disproportionate share of that because they have a, a larger share of their monthly expenses go to uh, support energy. Every family and business in America is affected by the price of oil. And now, the U.S. brings in over 60% of its oil from other countries. Some of them are friendly, countries like Canada, um, some I think from Brazil, but a lot of them are not necessarily friendly to us. The wealth that was provided by our forefathers, we're sending it overseas in order to buy oil because we don't want to get dirt under our fingernails and produce our own fuels here in the United States. If we can control and supply our own fuels, we have a better control of our own uh, economy. It just makes sense that when something like oil uh, is so important to your country that, that you try to secure it from safe sources where it won't be interrupted. Interruption and in supply of energy to the U.S. I think would be uh, very, very destructive to our ability to provide service and actually keep the economy growing. 